We specifically wanted to talk, talk about an arrest that was made yesterday um, of Dara Marie Lawrence, who's 44 years of age. Uh, Dara Lawrence had been a fugitive of justice uh, for more than 12 years. Um, and she was brought back to the United States from Mexico uh, to face charges for the uh, uh, alleged kidnapping of her four-year-old daughter um, without having custody. Uh, the child was taken over the course of a, uh, at the end of a weekend uh, where the mother failed to return the child to her father. Uh, the FBI worked with law enforcement uh, throughout the world uh, and were very successful with our, our, our counterparts and our foreign partners in Mexico. Who is, we've got a great partnership with, the National Center for Missing and Exploiting Children. Today is a great day, not only for the family, but it's, it's really a great day for our community, for our law enforcement family, because we have brought Sabrina home. That has, uh, you cannot imagine the relief after 12 years of, of having hope. And I will say is the family has always continually had hope. You know, this has been a long road. Uh, what what wound up happening is we got lucky. So, uh, so grateful to you guys to get her out of there. You know, it it has been a grueling couple of weeks, and she's home. Parental abductions. A lot of people just really don't understand that uh, they, they automatically assume, you know, well, you know, the kid's with the mom, what's the big deal? Uh, I can tell you if, you if you do research or you read about these cases, these are not things that are done by loving, healthy parents. These are things that are done uh, as a power play, and the kids are the ones that pay the price. And so I'm so grateful that she's back in Texas. I haven't gotten to see her yet. Um, my understanding is that she's been uh, subjected to, you know, intense parental alienation, and uh, we have a long road ahead of us. ...and agents deployed in nearly 70 countries. But Greg, could you have done it without Phil?